In this workshop, you'll learn to use this cool new product called Accent Silver. Use Accent Silver to add silver embellishments to brass, bronze, and copper. The first step is to clean the metal surface to receive the Accent Silver. I need to remove anything from the piece that cannot be fired. So on this one, I'll remove the stone. Then I need to clean the surface. Here I'm using a Scotch-Brite. I could use any number of abrasive materials depending on the metal that I'm using. In your Accent Silver instructions, I've included a chart that goes over all the different abrasives that can be used on the various metals. Accent Silver will only bond to clean metal, so it's important to get the metal thoroughly clean in the places where you want to apply it. It's also important to give a satin finish to the metal rather than a high polish. The next step is to apply wax to the back of the piece and then press it onto an acrylic disc. Then I clean it up one last time. Make sure there's no fingerprints. To mix the accent silver, I use a flat paintbrush and a mixing disc and a little dish with distilled water. First, I need to wet my brush. I set it in the water and allow it to soak up the water completely. And then I dip the wet but not dripping brush into the accent silver powder and get a little scoop of it. I want to add a couple of drops of water to that and just mix that in with my dirty brush. I'm going to take a second or two for this to get the powder hydrated. Then I just want to sweep this into a little pile and kind of mash it and allow it to rehydrate. It takes a few seconds to do this. What I'm aiming for is a smooth consistency. I want something that's very, very creamy. There should be no lumps. And once that's ready, I can apply it to the surface of the metal. Accent Silver is put on in two coats. The first coat goes on very thin. All I want to do is just cover everything with a nice thin coat. This should not be grainy at this point. If it's been mixed properly, then it should be nice and creamy. I don't want to allow the material to puddle into the nooks and crannies. I need to spread that out and just get a nice thin coat over everything. Once it's completely coated, I allow it to dry and then I can apply the second coat. I can rehydrate what has dried from the first coat. I can just add a little bit of water to the dried areas and give that just a second to take up the water. And then I've added a little extra material. If I find any lumps, the way I deal with them is just by wetting my palette knife and then mashing the lumps. I also use the palette knife to keep all the material scraped into one little area here. Once the consistency is right, then I can go ahead and apply my second coat of Accent Silver. Now this material I mixed a little bit thicker and I'm applying it just a little bit thicker. And once the piece is dried you can see that a lot of the detail is filled in and that's just fine because this is all going to soak into the metal. I use my bench knife to pry the piece up off of the acrylic disc. Now I just put the piece into a steel container that's filled with coconut media. This is coconut activated carbon. And then fire the piece according to the time and temperature for your kiln. We've included a firing guide with the instructions for Accent Silver. After firing, the piece is cooled completely. 
and then the firing residue is removed using a stainless steel brush and then the piece is burnished. Here I'm using a stainless steel pen style brush to burnish the details. At this point accent silver can be polished and finished just like silver including finishing with patinas like liver of sulfur. The silver layer is very durable but it is thin. One thing that you won't want to do is use too abrasive a product on the metal and tumble for just a short time if you do tumble. I'm using ultra polish pads to polish up this piece and now that everything else is done I can go ahead and set this stone. This is a pretty easy stone to set. I just use my bench knife to bend down the tabs. Since there are so many finishing options I've created a finishing guide that's included with the accent silver that you can refer to like a recipe book to get exactly the finish you want on a variety of different metals.